Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. It's another close loss for the Huskers and another loss in the remaining moments of the game. Our Aaron Murray checked in with fans today. Aaron, what are they talking about out there? John Mallory, it seems like head football coach Mike Riley is taking most of the heat, but that is not all fans are talking about. So to get a good mix, we decided to come here to KFAB to listen in to what their sports guys are sounding off on. All right, good afternoon to you, Chris Baker Radio Show. If you are a Husker fan, you are talking about it. And what an ugly football game on Saturday. The loss to Illinois, another upset. Longtime radio show host Chris Baker says all fingers are pointing to one person on this one. Right now they're blaming Coach Riley, which I don't think in particularly is a good, you know, I don't think it's right to blame him for three losses. This last loss, I think, goes right down to the coaches. But in a press conference Monday, Riley addressed the duress among fans. Well, I can understand them being nervous and, and uh, you know, we have the people that care the most and the greatest fans in the world, so obviously they're going to they're gonna have feelings uh, about this and, and, and certainly where we are, I understand that totally. I get it. And what we have to do is uh, just play better. He also took part of the blame, saying play calls and clock management fell on him. But this isn't all people are sounding off on. This tweet about Alex Lewis saying to the crowd, quote, I am sorry we suck, is causing debate. Uh, should Alex Lewis be thrown off the team? Many opinions out there about the captain and the direction of the team. But in the end, fans are just eager to see Husker football doing better. Now, one of the things Baker said to me, and I think everyone will agree, is there's really just a special bond between this state and the football team. So that anger is really just passion because, John and Mallory, everybody just wants to see them doing well. Yeah, Coach Riley mentioned the greatest fans in the world. Are we going to hear anything from them? Yes, that's exactly what we're doing next. We are going out and speaking to those fans and seeing what they think of Riley right now and especially, you know, where they stand with their confidence in him. So we'll have all of that for you coming up in the next half hour. All right, thank you. That's Aaron Murray reporting live tonight.